We are back here at the field where Joel found a silver coin from Tsar Peter the Great. This is an ancient marketplace dating back to at least 1500s. There's a rumor that two of these Swedish plate money has been found here. That's why I started digging already because I don't want Damien to steal them from me. And plate money being those huge squares of copper that the Swedes used as coinage back in the day. And here we got the first find. That's a beautiful nail, old one. He gave a shout, roundness in the hole, old roundness, historical roundness in the hole. Let's run and have a look. I think we're down to 1600 now, guys. And that's not many times on this channel, in Finland at least. Oh, oh, that's look a huge that little thing. It's beautiful, it's so dried up here. And nice! Look at this. It's not many times you find it on a field in Finland in this kind of condition. Whoa. I have found this a few times before. The coat of arms. That's the coat of arms of the Vasa royal family. And it makes it very early 1600s. Exactly, and the other and three side. three crowns. Three, three crowns. Swedish crowns. I have seen those three crowns in so many hockey games. Typically, Sweden has lost those games to the Finnish team. Exactly. But <laughs> this time, it's really nice to see them here. Oh, wow. this makes me so happy. Joel has now found a Russian coin last time here, Swedish coin, and we're in a Finnish field. What's up with that, Joel? How do you explain that? Well, everybody has been here. Everybody wants Finland and Finland is so beautiful place to live. So everyone just wants to come and take Finland. Yes. Sometimes we have to fight them off. Vikings, but... Swedes, Russians. And in the meantime, they drop good stuff like this. What you have there? Yeah. Oh, this is a beauty. I have a real beauty here. It's some kind of um, strap attachment. You would pass a belt or a rope or something in, in between here and tighten stuff. I'm not saying this one is horse related, but I smell a horse. It, uh, it smells like horse. It smells <laughs> like an 1800 horse to me. Like they would have galloped here across this open field. Like <laughs> this would have fallen off, I don't know, the saddle or something. Ah, it's beautiful. It is. It is. I did throw the rune sticks yesterday and I know that there's gonna be more finds in the woods there behind the field. But Joel insists on digging this field here first. So we're gonna start here on the field, then head into the deep wild forest to pick up the big treasures. Let's find out who is right and who is wrong. And you guys should drop a comment below to let us know where you would be hunting. What's that donut shaped thing you got there in your hand, yeah? I'm finding so good stuff here on this field. Look at this, what kind of thing this is, but it's beautiful. Probably been somewhere on a horse, maybe. Looks like a donut to me. Some yeah. kind of decoration, yes. decorative button, horse wagon stuff. Here on the True Vikings, we love horses, horseshoes, horseshoe nails, all kinds of horse related stuff if you haven't noticed already. It's amazing. I, I love this field. There's like this kind of uh, unique stuff or at least special stuff. I love this. I like this. Much better than forest, mosquito infested forest. Two buttons, beautiful buttons, close to each other actually. So these were nice ones. Look at this rounded. It has some kind of pattern going around this one. How old do you think they are, Yael? I would say 1800, something like that. That's one old button. Wow. Look I'm, at that. I'm quite impressed, but I know there's more stuff to be found here. We have yet another amazing discovery here. If you guys have been following this channel for a while, you guys know that we don't easily get excited. But now, now is the time to get excited. This is like, this could actually be something amazing. What uh, is your guess? What is it, Joel? Well, some kind of ring, but you get the honor to wash it. Oh, indeed I will and shall. 
round. Yes, it looks like a ring. There's dirt in the middle. That could be it's, really old. And yeah, that's a ring for sure. That's a ring for sure, my friends. You see, there's been something attached there on the front end. Let's give this little guy a shower with the squirt bottle to bring out all the detail. Oh man, oh man. It's a very crudely made ring, but you can see there's some kind of a hole and a rectangular carving there on the backside and that might have held a rock, a nice gemstone once upon a time. Sadly, this is not a ring made out of precious metal, but a poor man's ring. Pretty cool. Doesn't look so beautiful anymore, but 400 years ago it could have been amazing. Another reason that I just love this place is that here on the edge of the field there is an old abandoned structure, a building, and it just looks old. It screams ancient gold can be found right here. Come on, let's dig it. Let's find it. Look what an amazing buckle I found. This one is a pretty one. It's big as a horse, yeah. This gave such a good signal. All, the, all the lights lit up on your machine there. Yeah, this was amazing. And this one is pretty. I, I like finding these kinds of buckles. I knew there was some good stuff on this field. <laughs> Turns out the field is a pretty decent place after all, but in the woodlands, that's where the real treasure is. Because buried stuff would have been found on an open field like this. It's down there in the deep forest that people have hidden their big stashes, you know? No, 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 no. That's what I think so. Emil thinks. Yeah, but I'm a good thinker, you know, a philosopher, some call me. Nobody called me that, but hey, maybe someone, one day. You got something there in the hole. I, I see had the an amazing thing, you know, I knew it was going to be a coin and I was completely correct. Let's zoom in on that little bugger. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's a round, nice looking coin, yeah. I recognize it. It's a Swedish coin, this one. And it's one, one half of a Öre Swedish coin. And what age are we talking about then, Jarl? You yeah. being the numismatic guy here. On the other side you can't see so much. I think there's like three crowns. This coin is early 1700s and it, that means it's the same, almost the same age as the silver coin I found on this field. So it could have been dropped by the same person, I believe. Whoa, look what I just picked up. This is one of the same kinds of things I picked up my last time when I was here. Then I thought this would have been a part of a quill, but Hardiakka commented that it might be from a, a like shoelace or clothing, this, what, what name is it again? Emil. Oh, the egglet. Yeah, something like that. Yes. Yeah. But from clothing, this this part but hanging. Because I found egglet in gold in Denmark a couple of years ago. Whoa, what a yeah, day. you should what a day. check out those videos also. But yes. only this reason one, I remember that name. This this one is from copper, but cool find anyway. I felt drawn towards the forest here, and just there at the edge, I think I have a good discovery. It's an exceptional, strong, clear signal. Let's go and dig it up together. I am almost certain that it is a coin. Maybe even a silver coin there. Haven't dug it up yet, but I'm going to show you guys. Look, look, look at the equinox screaming there in the blazing sun. 34, high, sharp, clear signal. I know this is going to out find all of his finds. Really? Yeah. I told you that there's good stuff on this field. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed you brought me to a good place. This is gonna be Tsar Nicholas or Tsar Peter's hidden gold stash, hidden silver coin. Here I heard. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I just hit the cash layer. I just hit the cash layer. Quite literary. 
Ah, let's All do right. this. Let's do this. Oh, there's some look. good stuff. Look at this. that round. Huh. There it is. Fresh from the ancient past. Let me take out the water bottle. Oh, I'm sweating here. Yeah. It, it's Will warm. this help? No. <laughs> oh, this is quite nice, actually. You should try this out, yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. Let's see, there's some kind of pattern there. Oh, yeah, that's the emblem of the Tsar. And for once, I was right. Is it Alexander? I think so, Alexander. the first. I'm out of squirt juice here in my squirt bottle. That's Alexander the first, no? There's a number one here. You guys see the number one? That's the first of his name. And that's probably an A. Russian A, Alexander. Yes, it is. Let's check out the other side. You can see the year? Some kind of year there, down. And uh, something written in Kyrillic. I'm Russian, yeah. Russian Kyrillic. I have seen these coins beforehand. This is a Kopec coin, early 1800s. And I'm very happy about this. It was not Tsar Peter's silver stash, but... Close oh, enough, close, close enough. enough, I guess. Yeah, this is the closest we're gonna get on the True Vikings treasure hunting show. Ah! No, 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 <laughs> there's better stuff in the forest there no, behind me. No, I can feel it. Here on the field, it's the best stuff ever. What a glorious day. Here are our top finds from the field. In next week's episode, we're gonna be digging in the forest and you guys can vote if the field or the forest finds were the best ones. I bet it's gonna be the field. We will see in the next video, but I'm gonna prepare myself for the forest. But hit that like, hit that subscribe and the bell and see you in the forest. See you guys next week. Can I have some mosquito repellent, please? Of course. Thank you. <laughs>